Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this JPEG. They didn't really ask me to do it, but I did it. Um, they needed some help. And this will not trace. This is, as you can see, is garbage. All of this can re re reproduce except for this logo right here. But I was able to find it on the internet. And I just searched Pacific Air Force. I think I searched, uh, I couldn't even read Pacific. I just put Pacific Air and it came up. And this logo right here is 1232 by 1232, where this one is only like 600 by 600. So I picked that logo right there and I brought it into Corel and I traced it and it traced really good. And the only reason I'm really making the video is because of the fact that it's a little bit complicated right in here because of this trace. So we're going to take our one I've done out of the picture. And as you can see, there's some garbage right there, but I'm going to put this in the center of the page. And I'm going to go to a range and I'm going to lock it. I don't need to move it anymore. So I'm going to bring in the logo. I'm going to set it on top. And I'm hoping I can reproduce what I did. Um, so with it locked, I can just grab the logo. And for the video, that's close enough. And then if you set your nudge distance, uh, it'll you can nudge it right back. And then we need to take a ellipse or a circle and draw it. I'm going to make it black and I'm going to make it a little thicker and so you can see it on the, well let's make it quite a bit thicker than that. Let's make it 10 points and let's scale with object because this thing's really big and I know she's not going to run it that big. I've already sent her the file so and so we're going to take our lips and make it about approximate size of that circle and then we're going to cursor it over. We need to get rid of all this interior. All this can be drawn right here very easily, but we need to get rid of this garbage. And it's a little different. Um, there's a steps and it took me quite a few tries. First of all, I want to make a duplicate of it. I'm going to cursor it over in case I mess up. So I have the original. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to grab the logo and I'm going to go to a range and I'm going to ungroup all objects. And here's where the problem is. If you cut that, you get that because it's basically a black field line. Now, if you cut this line, it works or it doesn't work either. So we need to eliminate this stuff. So what I'm going to do is, is grab the flying wing and I'm going to cursor it out of the way. I'm going to take our letters and I'm going to go and delete them because they will delete. And we don't need them. Because they're actually hidden behind that other logo. I'm grabbing the circle. So here's the problem. When you use the virtual segment delete key, you get that. You can go to arrange. Ungroup it is not a group. You can't. You can't really grab it with the shape tool. So there's a couple of steps and I hope I can remember how I did it. First of all, we need this shape so we can use the spark fill tool to fill in that shape. And then we can cursor down with it and left click, right click on a line. I'm going to make it 500 points for right now. It's good enough. And that's what we're going to use for that interior line. So if this messes up, we don't have to do anything. So here's the way to do it, and it just takes some time. Grab it with your shape tool and grab as many nodes as you can and hit delete. Then zoom in here and take this node right here and hold down the shift key and hold, grab that node and convert these to a line. Now let's get rid of these nodes. And because of our line is so thick, we can bring this line into that line. We can bring this line into this line. That's one advantage of having that thick line. That will not show, and it looks pretty good. 
Dallas tried deleting the other line, get the virtual segment delete key, and it's doing the same thing. Is this is the probably the reason I made the video, but you can just hide it behind that thick line. So just take all these nodes and delete as many as you can, and select that one. Hold down your well. Let's delete two more nodes here. One more node up there, and I'm going to grab. I'm going to delete that node actually. And I'm going to grab that node, hold down the shift key and grab that node. And I'm going to right click and convert it to a line. Then you can just take this line. And bring that. Well, I'm going to have to add a node. And just bring this line out of the picture. Basically, we're just hiding that node in that line. You got one more to do. Now we can probably delete that node and delete that node. And it all depends on how big she is making this. Um, I'm going to add a node and put it in that line. Then we can do this. Now, there's a little bit more work, but to save time on the video, I think I'm going to leave that. We'll see how easy it is to fix it. So you keep, so you could turn this into a cusp, where you can only do one one at a time. I've got them all selected. Try to take that node and turn it into a cusp. Well, it's not gonna let me do it. Let's convert it to a line. You can see there's just quite a few nodes right there. We get rid of some of them. And let's just take this node and put it here. And really and truly, I just started thinking about, we don't need that line. Because we have this object down here that we created. So just cursor back up. So now we just need to get rid of this other line. And we also need to make that interior line a little thicker so we'll go 10 points well eight points scale with the object so when she makes it smaller that's too thick forgetting how little the logo is let's make it two points that's good enough for the video now let's do the same thing to this line just delete all these nodes and bring this line this is time consuming and not much fun but basically you're just hiding these lines behind that other line now we've turned this one we'll right click on it turn it into a line and then bring this one back you might have to add a note or two just bring it in And I've kind of got it messed up. But a little bit more work and it'll work. Let's put that one back. Let's grab this handle. And depending on how big she's going to make this, um, these won't really be detectable, but you can add a node right there and bring it down. And then take that and make it look more like a line. From a distance, that looks pretty good. So there's that part. Sorry if that was confusing. It's really confusing to me, and I'm doing it. So we'll take this line and bring it in. Click on it and grab our handle. And there we have a circle. So that's how you would do the first part. And then just cursor over it and that's what it looked like. And I guess real quick, the arrow and the stars would be very easily created. Um, you could use the arrow, but you could use a two point line and just draw an arrow. And 
and I need to I'll need to correct it a little bit. But for the video, you get the idea, and then you can fill that in, and that's close enough. And then just take you some stars. Back up one, take your star, put it in the spot. Let's fill it with black, and let's go ahead and take away the hairline so it does not cut. And I also need to do that. I need to put no hairline. And this could be straightened up. And then just take that star and duplicate it. And because we have our logo locked, the blue and white logo, we don't have the fear of getting them in uh, touching the logo and, and moving it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how I did the globe. Uh, it was really pretty easy. Hopefully less confusing than this. But you just add these stars. One more. And we're through. All right. Now what you can do is take your logo and we'll unlock everything. Go to lock and ungroup all object. Take your logo and move it out of the way. And there's your interior part of your drawing. With the exception that we lost. The, the, somehow I lost the wings. I don't know where I put it. There it is right there. And that's what's so nice about the smart field tool or the, the nudge distance. We can put all that stuff right back. Tell you what, let's delete. Well, let's just back up here. That's, I do not think that's the one I moved, but it has to be. Let's look at this. Arrange, group, ungroup all objects. Take away this stuff that we do not need so we can grab our wing and then move it over. Two clicks. And there is our logo inside of it. I'm sorry if that was confusing, but that's the only way I know how to do that and correct something like that. Now, the rest of the logo is real easy. It's just text to curve or text to path and uh, typing in and just... That's one thing nice about the nudge distance because now we can just put this right back and type United in Victory and get this text. So stay tuned for the next video and we'll reproduce this globe part. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.